Hey guys, it's like really cold outside and I'm like freezing right now, but I'm wearing long tights so I'm pretty good right now, so yeah. I'm going to show you guys how to do a rose with clay, of course, and I've done a like a vase kind of, vase, small vase of roses, but then like since I use air dry clay, air dry clay, it like ends up, you know, breaking apart, but roses are pretty strong actually if you just make them by yourself. I'll show you how to make some, and I'll, let's hope they turn out right. Because whenever I take a video of it and I try to do it on purpose, it's hard. But when I try to do it, like, not on purpose, it works perfectly. First, you want a small piece of clay. Small piece. Small piece. <laughs> um, is it a dog? Okay, there's a person with it. Okay, sorry. Like, I'm looking at my window, too. Okay, so you make it into a ball. But it's not going to stay a ball. Now I'm going to make it into a worm. You can, it depends on how much you want to roll the, um, flower. You can make it really thin if you want, but then it's probably not going to be good. But you want it, like, about this thin. This thin. Sorry about the lighting. <laughs> and then you just flatten it out with your fingers. I don't really care about, like, the fingerprints, because I really don't care. But just make sure your hands are clean. And then you just roll in this unique way. Wait. For each time you roll, you go a little up. Then you end up in something like this. Can I see it? End up something like that. And then you can put a pin in it, but I don't like putting pins in that. Pins in that. But you can make those into earrings. And you can like Food color. I'm gonna make another one. Let's see if this one would be better. I'm just gonna make it longer and skinnier. You flatten it out. You can roll it, but I re I recommend flattening it because it's not that. I'm not trying to be that professional on anything. And this kind of reminds me of a crescent, but what that looks like it's not a rose. Actually, it's something else one of those things that I like to make. I'm gonna make, let's see if I can make a crescent. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna make a big rose. I'm not gonna make a crescent. So you get a big bunch of clay. You roll it. It's like into a ball so it's easier and neater and there's no cracks in it. Then you roll it, like you know, into a worm. A worm slash snake. One thing I hate about air dry clay is that when you roll, it like makes like you know uneven things unless you use you know like um baking clay if you use that it doesn't matter and it doesn't make like unevenness so i got this one's actually really pretty thick because i don't want it to be that you know skinny okay and this is how this one looks like I'm not trying to make it look exactly like one, but let's see if I can make one like that. This one's going to be really thin, so let me just pull it. Flatten. Yeah, this didn't turn out that right, but it doesn't matter. If you want to color it, you can use eyeshadow or paper pastels. I'm going to use eyeshadows because that's what I have. But I'm going to color them like red, so I don't think I need to show you guys that. But yeah, in the next video, I might show it to you guys. Bye. Keep watching.